Billy Bob, you ready to go get them bees? I am ready to go get those bees. As soon as you get that metal loaded. Two seconds and we'll be on it like white on right. That's all right, because I'm smashing on this Subway breakfast sandwich. Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel, where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. We're in a kind of an upper middle class neighborhood on a real pretty lot. Beautiful old house. It's been vacant for about a year and a half. And uh, I, I don't know if it's a property owner or manager, developer, whatever, real estate person getting it ready to sell. But the the carpenter bees have just eaten this thing to a fair, you will. And the squirrels and everything else. So they've cut the tree, they cut all the trees away from the house and taken care of those problems, but they've got holes up around the chimney and we'll walk around back and look at that where the squirrels have gone in and now that the squirrels can't get to it the bees have gone in so there's two hives on this house and we're going to try to get both of them today hopefully the first one is way up high so we're going to double team that and billy bob jojo's first cousin <laughs> billy wayne billy wayne billy, wayne billy wayne's cousin from his and from his other mother. Jojo and Shirley May. He's going to be doing the high work because I can't stand heights. And I, I don't. I don't envy the thought of falling and busting like a rotten watermelon. There's a little bit of the backyard. Now you know the bees love to be on the water. And the golf course. The bees love the golf course too. They do love the golf course. You know, they, they just love to play chimney is way up there and you can't really see it from here but right under the edge of that is that the other one there roof metal now the other one's What's on? uh on, the, on that porch there that two hives one up here one over here and the air conditioner wasn't working the other day but i hear air running that's right it didn't feel bad in there that's gonna be nice Squirrel hole, rot, carpenter bees. That's carpenter bee poo down the side in there. I knew this was high, but man, that scaffold just makes it look like it's way up there. You should have structure running all the way around the chimney. Right, yeah, there is and stuff, but they can go in the cracks. So yeah. I'm gonna put the pile of hole here just to see, because that's where I think they're at. Sounds good. Alright. Stab it. Anything? Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> they're in the ceiling. <laughs> Why they gotta be in the ceiling, man? Right, so there's the bee comb, see it? Yep. Yeah. You can't see it on the you can't see it on the video, but I saw it. <laughs> see how the scaffold wobbling? I couldn't be up there with him. <laughs> I would be losing my mind. I'd be tied off to all four corners and drilling anchors into the roof. <laughs> Now we got one more to take out there. You might be able to see that bee zipping around out there. But man, I just do not work at heights like that. Right now, it seems pretty laid back. You let me know if you need smoke or anything. Oh, there's a lot of beetles. Lots of beetles. Sick hive. That's a sick hive, probably. Yep, very sick. There is a lot of beetles. Everywhere beetles. Sit all over the wall, running. There's probably 50 of them ran. Drop. Cut, Four. drop, and vac. Because it does go over, probably. 
Cut as far as you need to verify that the hive ends there. I am fixing to do that right because I saw a bee what I thought come over the top of that rafter. That's it. That's the end of it. Good deal. Little bee. All right. So uh, let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Something weird though is it's so small, but it's a lot of old comb. I think it's just sick. Yeah. Cut it, cut it and drop it in a bucket. And. Uh, Back what you can, and if it if it's just a small hive, we'll combine them with the ones on the back porch. Uh, what do you think, Billy Bob? Well, I think that we have accomplished something. <laughs> what that is is yet to be seen. We're yet to be seen. One sting to the neck. Shouldn't have any problem with the arthritis. <laughs> 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 that feels pretty good right now. We have some victory. Yeah. There. Yeah, yeah. And there. Not too bad. No, it's decent size. Kind, of, kind of a little weak, but. Yeah, we'll fix that. Yeah. To go back there and look at it, but I didn't want to get ate over with, please. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Go ahead and explain to me. Alright, so we'll go up there on the very top. Go over the, the, the hip group, fill in from now, the outside, so I'm going to hang over the face. Yeah. <laughs> when you say we, you mean you. I mean me, as in us as a team. Yeah. So if I fall, you will catch me right as I I'll bounce. Catch, I'll catch you. I mean, I'll, at least after I bounce, catch me on the up. Oh, yeah, okay? that's, that's no problem. Uh, but, uh, no, that's what I'm going to do, go up there. So I'm going to get the ladder out, and we're going to make it happen. I that's what I'm afraid of, you know, with this here, with life. All right, Lord, bless me. Keep him safe. Keep him safe. Billy Bob's going up. He's tied off. He's tied to me. And we get our footing. So, no way he can fall off the other side because he'd have to drag me up and I weigh about twice as much as he does. And if that ladder, you hold that ladder if I go to slide and come straight down to that ladder, all right? I'll be honest. This is hot. Boy, I wish I'd put some gloves on. You want to come back down? I'm scared. You want to come back down? No, I'm scared to come down. <laughs> Yeah, I see daylight. I see yeah. daylight from the top all the way down. For the yeah. meantime, if we could foam it, that would be probably. Do well. You can't foam that small I mean, crack. Uh -uh. Uh, yeah, so, see, you can see there's half, half an inch. Oh, wow. Okay. You see the light? I can't. Yeah, oh, yeah, now I see it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a whole coffin issue, major deal. Okay. I mean, there, I could probably stick my thumb in the hole down here. Wow.
go get the other bucket. Same house, same house half two. We think it's gonna be a big one this time. Coming and going here and here. Billy Bob going up here. Billy Bob going to check it out. This one's not too bad. If we're what ten foot off the ground, ten foot off the porch. These are all the way in this corner on this very, very corner back here against this wall. So that starts there. Goes all the way. Goes up. at least to there. The, the roofing comes and just stops, and there's a ledge and a water. Chute. It's, it's just all rotten. I mean, you could probably punch your way around. I just heard the house shake when you hit that. I mean, it's bad. <laughs> this is big, look at this is a big hive. Look at them; they're coming from that way and rolling in here. Big hive, dude. That's an uh, add-on. Three-inch trim board. This is yeah. an add-on. That, that's just. Okay. Two little blocks have been added on to extend that out further. All right. Both of these. <laughs> Those bees are childish. Attack it like that. They come on back up. No reason for this. Stop. Goodness. Now. Billy Bob, there's some violence going on out there. Oh man, they're getting on you. How much racket does a bee make when he's mad? It's a good old day in America. Yeah, they, they cut these beans for sure, so they just add a little block. <laughs> they won't notice. I had one just try to sting me, but she had already stung you, so there wasn't anything for her to push in. <laughs> I thought I was the movie star anyway, so. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are. Be the ball on town. <laughs> I don't want to break any of this tongue and groove. I'm going to have to go over here and pull that piece of trim down so I can take this piece down. Came to check out this super cool little deck. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention where I was going. That kind of startled me a little bit. Goes out over the wetland to the edge of the pond, the edge of the lake there. That's a pretty cool little statue. A little sunbathing lady. just really starting to dig into this one out here we're kind of trying to figure out how far they go and where to get into them these joists these uh, rafters are on 16 inch centers and I just stuck my camera up in there with a flashlight this cavity here I believe is empty all the way to the top this one here comb starts somewhere in this neighborhood and from the looks of what we can see so far it may go all the way to the top I gotta come out and get a sweat rag tied to my head and get some of the sawdust out of my eyes. Sam. You got that much? You got, let's look over here. Sweet. That is nice. You got it all the way over here, all brand new combs going up, going up, going up, and beyond. So, well, uh, it looks like all honey on the downhill side. Yeah. So let me get a clean bucket and all we right. can start we can start cutting that off and get okay. it out of the way. Alright, so we have got the honey going on right here. It continues on all the way from here. So we've got I don't know if you counted the foot of it. You probably got well you can see now. You got it goes from here. That's about three foot right there. It goes across the beam, which is about a foot and a half. 
and it continues on that's probably another two foot and it keeps going we haven't even reached the end of it yet and that's probably a uh, two by eight so we're uh, we're in the honey <laughs> Oh, that's just, <laughs> These aren't really... It's it just stung me on the arm. I thought it was appropriate. <laughs> Have you got some? Yeah, I did that. Staple some screening over tonight. We're getting our little operation set up so we can start framing comb and these are mediums. <laughs> that is such a nice hive. So pretty. So pretty. Here's the first take. Sweet. Literally. <laughs> Sweet. Literally. Oop. I'm getting rained on. She loved this stuff. She went and sold a bunch of it. And then she was like, why did I sell all of that? Look at Billy Bob go. Got some on the chin. Had to get through that that moss growing. Get in there, this thing is bad. <laughs> I know it looks like I ain't doing that, but we're both working hard. It's hot out here. His shoulder's covered. I know, it's just stinging the crap out of him too. Everything on this back porch within five feet of this area here is just saturated with honey. That buck is so full, I'm not going to be able to get it down. <laughs> I mean, I'll go up and get overflow. it. I'll go up and get it. This was a, such a honey loaded hive that it just was so hard to get out. Both of us are saturated with honey and sweat and everything out here is just covered with honey. You can see it dripping from the beams there. Just raining down. There wasn't any easy way to get it out. There wasn't any clean way to get it out. So we're going to have to throw all our equipment over the rail there and come around and get it so we don't have to so track honey through the house. So we framed up one medium box of comb. That's all the brood there was in this hive. Everything else was honey. And more honey. And, and more honey. honey. And did we say there was honey? There was honey. <laughs> did we mention? Did we mention honey? Because if not, so. there was honey. I talked about the comb, but I don't know if we got into the honey. Oh, okay. Did, did we There's talk about honey. the honey? <laughs> There's still honey dripping from every orifice of this building. It looks like uh, Antibule Horror, but with honey. <laughs> the sweet Antibule Horror. <laughs> Honeybill Horror. Yeah. And they were a little pissy. They were. You think? <laughs> they were wearing us out. It's not Botox. I wasn't even up there in them much, and they were wearing me out down here. I was framing comb and cleaning up. And all this mess that you see here. There was a little cluster of bees right here and we found the queen on the floor of the deck down here. There she is. Nice catch, bro. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> that eye's looking good right now. <laughs> yeah. We got three basic clusters here, one there one there and another big one up in the edge of the roof framing and that framing continues on up inside so we're going to have to wait those out we've got the majority of everything done we just got to clean up i said how do you feel at the end of the day yeah all stung up <laughs> <laughs> all stung up ooh, ooh, ooh.
we got all the hive out and most of the bees. We had a lot of bees run up in the frame and up in the main roof. No way to get them except for to go inside and start cutting sheetrock and we didn't want to destroy it. So we set, we set this box up here with the queen on it, which they are finding. They're coming to her, it's just taking some time. So I'm gonna leave this box here until at least dark, maybe until tomorrow, tomorrow night maybe and let them migrate to that box because they're still all over the place. They're down here, they're still on the wall down here. So I gotta give them time to figure out what's going on and where everybody's at. But man, this was one of the tougher removals we've ever done that I've ever been involved with. This removal here, if I've ever thought about walking away from one, this would have been it. If, uh, Billy Bob hadn't been here to help me, I would have not been able to do it. That one in there was high up. This one here's uh, 15 feet or so to that peak. And big guys just don't bounce real well when they fall. The ladder was, was just slathered with honey, so it was so slick. Everything out here was slick. It's smoldering hot out here. I've been through three of those big power aids and I'm on my second uh, liter of water just nasty hot out here that makes things worse but everything was covered with honey was a bad thing because you know it's not fun working on a ladder that's slick and that's what this was it was just a slip and slide waiting to happen so I've hosed it off now we've got our box set up taken off and we'll come back uh, I'm going to say tomorrow, tomorrow night, and gather them up.